Hello everyone, my name is Psychic Gigi. I am a naturally gifted visionary psychic that channels through my spirit guides to provide you clarity for your most desired questions. Today we are going to be doing a general reading for our Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for love. And this reading is going to be for July 15th through July 31st. Um, again, please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it might not resonate with everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and comments are always welcome. I do appreciate the comments that you guys have been posting and I'm reading each and every one of them. So thank you so much for all of your support. Okay, so I've, I've pretty much shuffled the cards. Um, let's do a little bit more. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising, July 15th through July 31st. Okay. Three cards first. Okay. So the first card that, that comes up for my Pisces is the Wheel of Fortune. And we are going to focus on love. It is in the upright position. So I get some positive changes that are going to happen for my Pisces for the last part of July. Um, some of you are going to be taking a, your relationship to the next step, starting maybe a new phase, or um, could possibly even be starting a, like a joint project with with your current partner, or um, even if things have been difficult, I feel like you guys are going to start kind of moving into a much calmer, like, direction. So, this is definitely not the time to start shaking anything up, but I really don't feel, because we have the Four of Wands that comes right after it, I, don't, I really feel like the commitment is going to get a lot stronger. And the relationship, if you're currently in a relationship, there's, you know, a happy family, um, success, um, more stability, more um, security, but also laying down the roots. So making it a sol making a more solid foundation. Um, this can also be um, a gathering that you, you know, some of you might be going to. Um, gathering could be like a, a party or a big event so it's a very strong indicator that there's going to be some celebrations for you towards the end of July and it's very welcoming so um, if you're current uh, currently single there might be somebody coming back from your past as well where you thought that there was a completion in and around this, and they might actually end up returning. So be mindful of that. Um, the next card that we have is the Strength card for our Pisces. Whenever I get this in a reading, this always, for me, this always re represents a Leo. So it could be a Leo coming back um, from your past, and you're... You're a lot stronger now. So whatever challenges that you have gone through with this person, just know that you have the confidence and you're, you're kind of shining. Um, you're allowing yourself to just shine and, and you're, you're a lot stronger to deal with any challenges um, that have occurred in the past. Let's see. For those of you who are already in a relationship, again, I just feel like with these, with with this spread right here, Wheel of Fortune, family, home, you're just your relationship's going to get a lot stronger, building your foundation, your roots, and 
kind of, you know, everything just kind of starts coming together. Um, a lot of, um, just be careful of the emotional upheaval because we still are, again, in the, um, going through the eclipse, so careful with emotions. Um, make sure we stay mindful and respectful of our relationships. So if there's any problems that you might have gone through in the past, I feel like you're going to start resolving them. You're going to get through them. And this is the strength. That's a confirmation for me. So let's see. Let's do three more cards. Okay. We have the King of Cups. The Nine of Swords reversed, and the Eight of Swords reversed. Okay. So just to clarify the first three cards that we did pull, what I'm getting in the, again with the King of Cups, this is um, this could be you or or your partner. It also is like a father figure again, family, happiness, strength. Um, a lot of a lot more romance so you guys can be looking for some you could be expecting some romance or maybe be a little bit surprised because you have some surprises coming towards you where this person um, whether you're in a current relationship or they are coming into your life they're very romantic charming and devoted kind of easygoing type of um, person but also caring if I feel like this is more of a male energy, but again, it's not it's not gender specific, so we do have to um, be mindful of that. Um, the next card that we have is the Nine of Swords reversed. Um, some people get kind of nervous when they see a card reversed, and I look at this as like, okay, we're letting go of our fear. We have. Um, kind of seen the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, if there's been some struggle in the past, it's you're starting to, to just kind of let them go. Um, this also can indicate that maybe somebody wasn't very honest. And again, you're strong enough to get through it. And it's going to be up to you is how, how you're going to address those issues. So they're going to be brought up, but I feel like you guys are going to, so you're going to face them head on and then just move on from that. If you are um, unable to move past that, there could be a possible break. Where you're just like, okay, that's it. I've had enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to my integrity, and and I know that I'm strong enough to handle it and move forward. The next card that is showing up is the Eight of Swords, but this is also about kind of again a confirmation. For the Nine of Swords, like you're releasing your fears, you're you're finding that mental strength, and you're regaining that strength. You're overcoming obstacles, um, things that you might have experienced um, in the relationship. So if you feel like you um, were trapped and restricted, it's almost like that. There's a healing process that's going that's gonna start to occur, and you end up overcoming these obstacles. Moving the relationship to a more happier, calmer waters, um, changing the relationship in the way it it was in the past. So if this is your partner and you feel like they've had most of the control, you're gonna with with your strength, your inner strength, you're gonna take the control back where it's a little bit more balanced, the relationship. So. Um, for the people who are single, you're done. You're ready to kind of move on. Um, you've been paralyzed in like 
you feel like you've been paralyzed and trying to find the right partner, but now that you're you're ready, you're ready to like kind of just break free and and get back out there and start dating. So I do feel that if you've been having issues within your current relationship, whether you were married or living together, and there's been some, some issues that have not been resolved, they are going to be resolved um, by the end of this month. If you're single, you're going to you're gonna let go of those, those fears, and you're going to start getting yourself back out there. So... <coughs> This is actually really good because there's a lot of healing that's going on here, but at the same time, celebration. So at the bottom of the deck, the card that I have is the Page of Cups. So this is all about emotional joy, emotional fulfillment. Either way, if you're in a relationship, um, I get there's going to be some, you know, a lot of like romantic proposals, uh, feelings, emotions, they're going to be pretty strong for the next two weeks. If you are single, you might want to take that crush that you have on someone that you've been kind of observing and take it to a new level or kind of take your chances out there. Kind of, again, releasing the, cha releasing the, the fears and the anxiety that you've had in the past because you're ready to move forward. You're ready to have some, some love, some happiness, some joy in your lives. So Pisces, looks like things are going to start getting resolved for you. You have some really good, um, some good obstacle, like really good um, omen around your reading for the last two weeks in July. And, and you're going you're gonna to find that completion, that wholeness attainment, either way. Because um, I'm going to go back to the Wheel of Fortune and, and just say that whatever needs to be taken care of, whether it's resolving some issues from the past, um, it, it, you're going to feel whole again. There's a, there's a wholeness coming in, a wholeness of energy coming in. So let's do one Oracle Angel card for our Pisces. For the end of July 2019, I always forget to save the year. Let's see what we're coming up with. That awareness. So I, I I like this card because it's one. It's a it's a beautiful card. I always like my oracle angel cards anyway. But what this card means is. It's about like being aware and conscious of our thoughts, our feelings, and our emotions. So we start to notice like the energy of thoughts and emotions, and we need to just be aware that um, these emotions and thoughts are serving us for the for a true purpose, for its for its true potential. So if you find that you're not like making a conscious decision to change these thoughts and feelings it's it's this is the good time to start with maybe just more one positive um, thought for the day um, just to uplift your energy and your awareness so and this is also you know again being aware that we can make changes in our lives we have control of how we deal with certain situations. Um, it's about being conscious of our thoughts and our feelings and also mindful of what we're creating because our thoughts and our emotions are is what brings us the ability to manifest and also um, what we create and want and bring in our lives. So this is a really good reading for you guys. Um, I hope that some of you have been able to resonate with it. Please again, like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try, I will be doing um, monthly, um, bi-monthly love readings. 
um, every month moving forward. Again, all my information is listed below if you would like to come for a personal reading, um, as that would give you the more in-depth um, reading for your, your, your current situation. So that's about it. Thank you so much, everyone, for all your support. And again, I do read each and every comment, and I appreciate all your support and help. Love and light to all of you. And have a wonderful week.